You are not considerate. Yet another appears. Hey guys, Terry here for Red 3 Games, and I'm hanging out today with Brian Miller. He is the executive producer of Star Trek The Video Game, which is coming out next month, right? Absolutely. We're uh, about four weeks away from launch. Yeah. God, must be exciting right now. And this is also coming out a couple weeks before the next Star Trek film, right? Yeah. Is there some kind of crossover there? I know you guys also have a lot of the major characters from the movie in the game, but plot-wise, are we going to be seeing any tie-in there? No, we wanted to make sure that each were completely different things. We wanted to make sure that our gamers and our, our players who play this game get a completely unique and original story. We didn't want to fall into the trap that a lot of other movie-based games fall into, which is see the movie, play the game, and you get the same exact experience that you've already sort of witnessed. We wanted to make sure that we were telling a story that was completely canon, so what happens in our game actually matters to the longer timeline and takes place between the last movie and then the new movie Into Darkness coming yeah. out soon. Wonderful. So this is a co-op game, right? You guys are really adamant about making this a really fun co-op experience. Um, and also the fact that it's not a shooter. You guys are saying it's an action adventure. What, what is going to be in here that is really going to make this stand out from the everyday modern shooter? You know, we wanted to make sure that we were delivering to our fans the most authentic version of Star Trek we could. And Star Trek, you know, has never been about just running around and killing a bunch of things. We wanted to make sure that when you play as Kirk and Spock, you know, these two amazing characters that have lasted, you know, for almost five decades, that you are really getting to play as them as you would if you were watching a movie. So what does that mean? We wanted a great story. We wanted great action. So there is those great action. We wanted great discovery and exploration. We wanted to take all those things that people love about Star Trek and infuse it into our game. And it's local co-op, right? Well, we have both locals, so you can sit and play with a friend. You can go online and play with somebody, you know, far across the globe, or you can play a great single player. We have amazing AI that our developer worked on to make sure that, you know, you were getting a really great experience. And it's different also um, based on what character you play, because people can play as Kirk or Spock. So, like, each one has sort of their own unique abilities. Yeah, not only do they have their own unique abilities, but they have weapons that are very unique to them. So Kirk, in our game, we've upgraded his classic phaser and gave him a, a, a captain's phaser, which is modeled after an old West Six shooter because he is more like a cowboy. But we also have taken that down into some of the gameplay. So if you're playing as Kirk, you can call in the airstrikes from the Enterprise because you're the captain. Or if you're playing as Spock, you can do your mind meld and get information that really is pertinent to the story that you can only get if you play as those characters. So you guys have really tried to make this a canon experience. You, wanna, you want this to be for the Star Trek fans, right? But what about those people who maybe haven't seen the most recent movie or didn't watch the original series? Are, are they going to find interest in this? Yeah, I think what was important for us was the same challenges we had when we were remaking and rebooting the movie for 2009 was how do we appeal to a really broad audience but also take care and honor our hardcore Star Trek fans who've been with us for so long. So you don't need to have seen any of the other films. You don't need to know Star Trek inside and out to play the game. But if you are a hardcore fan, we have a lot of things in there like our enemy, the Gorn, who are a throwback to the old series that Again, if you're not the biggest fan, you wouldn't know, but if you're a hardcore Trek fan, you appreciate those kind of things. I, I haven't seen all of the Star Trek series, but I've seen TNG, and I'm sure I will get a reference or two in there. Uh, Brian Miller, thank you so much. Guys, April 23rd, it's coming out. Get excited. Get excited.